It is time for me to show off more work on the Serenum system. I have not been able to ship release 4 yet, but that will happen soon enough. I'll just go through some things that I've worked on. First up, we have new errors in uh, CLB. So, for example, if I edit the new program and I make a mistake somewhere, like here, save that, and then I try to compile. I will get an error with both a nice message showing the program text, highlighting a token, and a suggested message. Okay, and then if uh, people want to bug report to me, if there's a weird crash, you just run the debug version of the compiler. Uh, and that should give you the stack trace, and that's the most useful thing for me. Uh, along with the, you know, code snippet, whatnot. Uh, after that, so I, I initially started doing the new errors. I was going to just propagate that everywhere. There, that is, has not happened, so there's a mixture of the new errors and the old errors. I then did some assembly optimization, or the assembler optimization, because the assembler is very slow. You have to wait for it. So that's faster. Um, there's now HDMI hot plug, so you don't need to plug the HDMI in at boot or before boot. You can sort of unplug, plug in as you wish. Uh, I also worked on new modes because Serena Release 4 will be sort of the graphics update uh, kind of thing. Uh, and one of the main difficulties for people is rendering to 1080 is very difficult. So number one, which you might have noticed so far, is that we now do 4x3. 4x3 is a better resolution for programming. Uh, so we just don't render... Well, every, all the modes are 4x3, so we get more value per pixel. And there are now lower resolution modes you can switch to. So, for instance, I believe if I start the shell inside of itself which, you know, is not supported, but will demonstrate the principle. That I will get a lower mode. I can't remember if this is mode 1 or mode 2. Um, mode 1 is 640 by 480 mode 2 800 by 600 Then there's a mode 3, and then the native resolution mode 4, which is 1440 by 1080 Now, uh, OBS messes up on this because... Well, because my capture card is stretching the four by this lower four by three resolution up to sixteen by nine for the ten eighty p because there's no four eighty four by three resolution that monitor support we actually output the graphics hardware will output ten eighty p nineteen twenty by ten eighty with black bars on the side uh so yeah, that's annoying, but that's how it went. Anyway, I press Control Alt Delete to come out to this and then kill the underlying shell. Next up, we got editor line wrap, which is important. So let's see, do I have my example for that or will I have to conjure one? And yeah. Here we go. You see, we have line wrap in the editor. I can type. Things work as expected. Um, I can copy paste these. That works. Um, etc. We also have improved for Danish or Nordic ISO keyboards. You should now be able to type backslash and bar character because I fixed that. We now support home and end. That works on these guys, both home and end. And page up, page down. Which is more useful on, say, a big file. If I open the Velato main file. 
we can page down and we can see this enables me to edit way bigger files, which is very useful. Uh, and you know, we have the line wrapping here as well. Now, next thing, yes, we have system wide copy paste. So say I'm in, let's go up. Uh, I'm editing the new program. I fixed my mistake. Um, and I want to know, oh, what is that function you can call in the Serene base? Or Serene Foundation, the base is Serena. Okay, well, I can exit, I, I can go look at that. And say, oh, was it the file that, uh, or was it the procedure used to load an entire file? Could it be that one? alloc load entire file. So here now I can just go grab this, copy, quit. You see, we can see the copied, copied text there in the debug output. Go back into noob.lbc and paste. So yeah, that was a requested feature, improves usability a lot. Next up, we have, we have um, single line comments. So for a long time, I basically got used to using these style comments because they're the ones I uh, added in the beginning. So I would always just um, do this type of thing if I want to comment out a line. But now you, you don't have to do that. We now support C and C++ style single line comments like that. But I will be very disappointed if I end up seeing many multi line comments that look like this. Uh, and, uh, you know, have a paragraph of text. This is hideous, absolutely hideous. Uh, use this instead. You know, I guess you would you would want to align these. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, we have some tab features. A, uh, you can tab to go forward to align to the next tab stop. You know, but go back. One that works. On open brace, we now automatically increment. We don't decrement automatically when you do close brace because editing, removing tokens but or characters behind text you're typing is is weird, in my opinion. So I mean, yeah, you do that and then you you close. Uh, okay, what more? Uh, oh yes, we have generic structures. So before, so the way generics work in Brevis is that you have a, we don't have any monomorphization. Instead, you write a function that can use, that can take a pointer to a type you don't know what the type is. And then you get past runtime type information at runtime. Uh, and now that works for structures as well. So let's get the example here. In my basic uh, container code. We'll take a look at the Auctum. The Auctum, Auctum means, this is short for Spatium Auctum which is a grown spatium or a grown slice. So when you initialize one of these, you call create auctum and you pass in T, the type, and you also have to match this with the type of the thing in the auctum. And then, so this will, and then it takes an arena that it allocates on. Now, then when you access or push, 
it will automatically infer what the type and give you type safety on uh, what the thing in the array is. So the usage code for this, let's not check new, let's check um, the array, the assembler. Because uh, we use it here. So yeah, for example, oh no, this is the hash map. Let's see, uh, the hash map has not been updated yet. Yeah, there we go. So there is an Arctum here. Where is the Arctum? Yeah. So here I say I both have an Arctum of uh, byte spatiums or strings and one of N64s. And I initially initialize them like this. You have to specify the type both here and here, but then later on you do not. So here I've done it because uh, this code before generic structs you had to do this. You can remove this now, and it will infer the type from what from the type you passed in here. Okay, and now finally, the final thing that I got done today is that after solving some hairy bugs, uh, we're now fully self-hosting again. So the plan is for Serenum 4. Um, I just shipped the Git snapshot of the Git repo on device as well. Uh, and so, you know, you can look at this and you can actually, I, w I won't show it here on camera because it takes too long, but the compiler and assembler that ship with the system can compile themselves on the system. So I have some binaries that I made in the bin folder. So I made, let's see, CLB, so all the ELF files here are created on my Linux machine. But both CLB here, CLB.pb, and CRA.pb were compiled on the machine and they can, you know, you can keep doing that. So in theory now, um, I can, you know, work on, uh, on Serenum. I can encounter a compiler bug. I can then fix the compiler bug, build a new compiler, keep going, never have to touch Linux. Uh, or same for the assembler. Say, oh, there's an assembly instruction that I need that isn't in the assembler yet. Let me edit the assembler. Let me add that instruction, rebuild the assembler. And now that works. Um, we'll see how much I end up doing this because the full compile assemble cycle on the compiler is, you know, 10 minutes-ish or more. So I need to improve that. Uh, a lot, a lot. But uh, as a technicality, it's pretty cool. It means we're moving in the right direction. Uh, more than that, I can't think of to say other than uh, Serenum Release 4 coming soon with all these fixes and probably some more. Goodbye.